Well, this is not good. Looks like the boat sunk. I think it broke free. Maybe the tide pushed it under the dock. Yeah, I got a lot of bailing to do. The gentleman that's selling live urchins helped uh, give me this bucket, so I'm gonna start bailing. Quick update, this stayed floating, completely dry in there. Gas can floats, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my fishing tackle, dry as a bone. This has a rubber seal on it. The motor is gonna have some issues. I've been trying to get it off for the last 15 minutes. It's really hard to reach down there. And then fish finder's a mess. Everything that left in the boat's a mess. My battery here is dead, gone. My other battery is probably dead and gone too. Let's see if I can get this motor off. All right guys, looks like that did the trick. As soon as I got the motor off, the boat now floats. I'll be able to bail it out. We'll be out of here in no time. I'm gonna try and expedite this process by just pulling this straight out of the water onto the dock. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it's more fun than uh, swimming is the best exercise. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. Alright, that worked like a charm. I love boating. <laughs> All right guys, most of the water's out. We got like two inches in there. So I gotta get back in and finish with the uh, manual bilge pump. Check this out. Corroded right off. Negative is still attached, but that's gone. This full of water. This is a goner. Uh, oars of course are okay. Haven't checked the gas yet. Everything in here was good. So really everything that died is just the motors and potentially the or the batteries and potentially the motor. My rod holders, oh man, I need to take a wire brush to them, see if I can salvage them. I think I might just take it over to the dock and scrub it clean. What do you guys think? Take it to the dock, scrub it clean, get everything out. That sounds like a good idea to me. All right guys, I'm just rowing back here to the, uh, we're going to the boat ramp. Taking it nice and easy. Uh, I talked with some of the commercial guys that have the uh, the slips across the way from the dinghy dock. And they said it was over a week that the boat's been sank. And last time I saw it was about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Um, I took it out that Wednesday. When was that? Yeah, that was almost two, that was like two and a half weeks ago. So yeah, last time I saw it was a while ago and it could have been underwater for over two weeks so 
anyways what i'm trying to get at is i'm not gonna try and start this engine out here i don't think maybe i'll give it like one or two pulls but um the guys uh the commercial guys were basically saying you need to drain the motor completely of water water gets in the cylinder head through the carb through the air intake um, and I need to drain all that then I need to get oil and get it inside the cylinder head um, To get all that salt water out or something like that It's like noon. So everyone who went out in the morning is coming back right now The boat ramp's got like a line, but I got to go grab my wheels. So I'm gonna drive my car down grab my wheels and uh, To be honest, I got to take everything out of the boat Ideally, I'd hose it down still got a long way to go and to think, I thought I could row back in the ocean. That was naive. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you when I get there. All right, guys, let's take a look at the bottom of the boat here. Definitely overdue for cleaning. Think you guys are gonna be surprised. Definitely uh, interesting what the boat looks like. There it is. Bunch of these sponges. Should have done this on the dock. Get them back in the water. Oh well, let's get to cleaning. All right guys, there she is, finally clean. Not the best, seats are still pretty dirty, but you need a hose for the fresh water rinse and I don't have one. So I've just been filling up a bucket, scrubbing everything down. You can see I got it pretty clean down there on the corner here, but it's not perfect. Good enough to get back in the water though. Hopefully there's no leaks. I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna check to make sure there's no leaks. Tighten these bottom ones up a little bit more, but don't know about the uh, motor, but hopefully we can get it started. If not, I'll throw on the two horse and we'll be back out there in like a week. So uh, apparently the salmon bite was really good today. A lot of people limited. Hopefully I'll get out there next time. We got the engine in the car. We're gonna go work on it right now. I think we're going against tide and wind, so we're rowing at like half a mile an hour. We're just going as slow as humanly possible back into the marina here. All right, guys, I got 5% battery left on my GoPro, so I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna tie everything up. I'm gonna dock it like I normally do. Took out the bilge pump, so it's not leaking right now, so hopefully. Without the weight of the motor, they won't have any issues. I will hopefully, going on a trip, about a week long trip, halfway through next week. So I'm gonna try and make my way out here to uh, install the bilge pump before I leave for that. But if I don't, if I can't, at least we know the boat doesn't actually sink sink. All right guys, no fish today, but next time I promise I'll catch a fish. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that, but next time I'll at least try and catch a fish. All right guys, there she is, tethered up. This guy took my old spot, but that's totally fine. We got hooked up to the uh, piling in the back there with the bungee anchor. And then we got uh, our main rope here, keeping tension on it. And then a the backup here that's got a little bit of slack. But just in case, uh, this one, this wood is a little wiggly. So just in case that breaks, we got a backup here. I don't really care if it smashes into the kayaks or the pilings, honestly. I don't think they'll deal that much damage and I should be coming back in a few days hopefully to install the uh, bilge pump and we'll see we'll see um but yeah fingers crossed it didn't leak at all when i was uh rowing back in so it should be here next time i come out all right guys here's the motor there was a ton of water in it so let me just explain what i did for this motor really quick 
I took off the carb, I took out the spark plug, I shook it upside down a lot to get as much water out as I could while it was upside down. Now this was tricky, uh, while it was upside down I pulled on the uh, start cord slowly just to cycle the cylinder head and make sure that I could get as much um, water out as possible. Um, so I took off the carb and I'm going to go clean the carb right now. I, oh, first thing I did actually was wash it down with fresh water, just thoroughly spray it down with fresh water um, and then tried to dry it as much as I could before taking out everything and draining everything with water but it was already wet anyway so it's not like it mattered um, so I'm also going to be I'm gonna replace all the fuel lines they were a little stiff actually I should probably get some better fuel lines but all I have are just generic from the store fuel line so I'm gonna replace all those um, I'm gonna clean the carb I am going to I don't have a new spark plug otherwise I'd put a new spark plug in I'm gonna change the oil and the gear oil and then we're going to start it up. Oh, I'm also going to put um, some oil, a couple tablespoons of oil into the cylinder head through the spark plug. All right, guys, we took everything apart here and uh, cleaned it all out with some carb cleaner. And now the carb should run perfectly fine. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is change the oil and the gear oil in the motor. They were overdue for a change anyway, so this is good timing, you know, given this motor ever runs again. Guys, check this out. Look how much water is in my oil. Look how runny it is. And look what color it is. That is so gross. That is so gross. There's so much water in there. I'm gonna let this drain completely. And then uh, I'll probably flush it with some fresh oil. Oh man. Well, there you go. Okay guys, we got the uh, bucket filling up with water right now to test the motor. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down. We're gonna give it our best shot. Apologies for the low light, it's uh, after work today. So, uh, bucket's almost full. I'm gonna go shut off, or turn down the water, and I'll set you guys up, and we'll give it a try, see if it starts. There she is guys, lights on, that's good, she's running, chokes in, fuel looks good, oh man, she's running, look at it, she's a beaut, she's a beauty. Alright, I think she's got some life left in her yet. All right guys, a little smoke in here. I'm gonna make this very quick. I'm gonna let this run for like 10 minutes and then we're gonna cut it off. I gotta get out of the garage though. Well guys, she ran and she ran pretty well. The idle is still a little messed up. Maybe I'll clean the carb again. I cleaned it really thoroughly actually. I took off all of the jets and um, cleaned them all out and sprayed it all out with carb cleaner. But uh, anyway, she runs, which is huge. Um, I'm probably not going to put her back on the boat for a couple weeks because I'm going on a vacation and I won't be around so it doesn't really make sense to risk her sinking again but uh, I will. she will be going back out on the port of the boat um, so until I replace her with a brand new 6 horsepower at least um, this is, uh, is going to be the, uh, the main engine for the port of the boat so luckily it worked, hopefully it stays working and um, anyways thanks for watching guys, short video